I'm, I am Christy. My sister found this random competition and just sent it to me uh, that was the Future Art Awards Ecosystem X. And I was like, okay, sure, I'll, you know, I'll enter. And I entered one of the paintings I have here called Juniper Rising. And um, lo and behold, overall, like, like right before my birthday, uh, <laughs> I got an email saying that I was one of the top 10 uh, grant winners pretty much my whole life. I mean, I've loved art. Um, yeah, I've always been known as the artistic one, in, like growing up in class and everything. And um, and then I think like when I graduated high school, I decided not to go to college, kind of dove into artwork um, over the next couple years. And it just kind of all of a sudden people were like, oh, can you paint this for me? Can you paint that for me? And I, so I've been painting professionally probably for about nine years now. This lovely sunshine <laughs> that is overwhelming me right now, but it's beautiful. <laughs> um, I, I am inspired by connecting with nature, with animals, uh, with wildlife. The birds. I grew up bird watching with my family, um, so I, I grew up in appreciation for the natural world, and in a way where love, laughter, family, uh, everything was just kind of melded together in being out outside and appreciating birds and appreciating light that's coming through the trees or the way I feel, you know, being outside. Um, so a lot of my art comes from the way I now see the world. I did study from a dear friend of ours, Larry Tucci. Um, he's a wildlife artist uh, who lives in Fort Collins, Colorado. And he mentored me for a month. I went out to Colorado and we got to go hiking and paint together and everything. So uh, he was a big inspiration for me because growing up, I could see that you could be successful being an artist and painting what you love. And I, I loved the way he uh, depicted nature on canvas. So, uh, so yeah, he was. I think he was one of the biggest inspirations for me. It's the world I fell in, fell into when I moved to Sedona. Okay. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> uh, so I was, you know, when I moved here three years ago, I um, I was hiking and sketching, and just all of a sudden, my sketches took on a whole new life. Like it was like, okay. You know, I all of a sudden, okay, here's a floating piece of, piece of earth and here's a tree on it and just having it feel, so I feel like that art comes from the, the way I feel outside, the way I feel when I'm hiking, the way I feel about the earth, like wanting to respect and revere the earth, like it's, you know, it's held in a high, high regard. Uh, I. I love being able to put that out there for people to kind of feel, but also I feel like in some, I did one piece that I have not put out anywhere, but it's been more of kind of a, a more sad uh, depiction of, of, of the earth where uh, it was almost like the earth is trying to escape the destruction that we have brought. I decided to do like a, a backlit kind of sunsetty type type painting with a, a juniper rising up with the earth, um, and then there's going to be some bluebirds in here flying around um, in in the light because bluebirds are actually my sister and I have been having this conversation a lot lately. Is that bluebirds actually are uh, <laughs> mean, like are like an angel? Like means like you have angels present. So like being in the light and having the bluebirds there is just like the angels kind of flying around in, in this scene. So natural uh, earth pigments and uh, eco-friendly and non-toxic uh, fine art paint and actually an eco-solve that is totally plant-based, non-toxic that can clean your brushes. Uh, so once I found them, I was like, oh, okay, I, can, I can do oil now. <laughs> like, I feel okay with this. Like, this is all right. <laughs> So yeah, so I've been I've been playing with that and um, and mixing my own natural earth pigments and stuff. Um, when I come to paint here, you know, I, I don't bring all the powder bags and stuff like that and mixing the oil. So I, I use regular oil paints when I come paint live. But uh, when I'm home, I get to 
mix all my powders and into the oil and, and everything. And it's a lot of fun. It makes the process like really grounding and earthy.